Somerset struggle as Gloucestershire close in on victory. A hundred from James Bracey helped Gloucestershire finish day two, just 11 behind their hosts. Parity within touching distance in this tight West Country contest. But Somerset had a scalp at the start. David Payne departed to Delaya, the visitors now down to their last wicket. And the innings was at an end soon after. Taylor, who had done so well to get them close to Somerset's total, was the last man to go. Pinned LBW by Delanger. Gloucestershire all out for 309, just three behind the hosts. Bracey's knock had done most of the damage for Gloucestershire, but lower order ballistics from Taylor had all but taken the visitors to level pegging. Delanger for Somerset seems to be able to do it all. Four wickets to his name, and key ones too. Somerset slipped at the start of their second innings though. Tom Lamonby lasted just two balls before falling to Higgins for a duck. Higgins struck again, this time to remove captain Tom Abel for six, and then Banton fell to Taylor, the hosts in real trouble at 36 for three. It got worse for them. Bartlett then went to Goodman, first ball, and Somerset stumbled into lunch with the score 47 for four. Stephen Davis would be prevented from emulating his first innings by pain, just 12 added, and the visitors were now in charge. The wheels were starting to come off. Craig Overton, the latest Somerset man, unable to help his side. His defence is no match for Ryan Higgins. Lewis Gregory was next. Taylor's bowling provided Higgins with the catch, leaving James Hildreth the last line of defence before Somerset were down to the bowlers. The hosts reached the sweet relief of T with the score 92 for 7, their lead just 95. It was slow going after the break. A single off Hildreth was enough to see Somerset to three figures. He ploughed on ahead, the lead now joining the total on triple figures. A confidence boost, if nothing else, for the hosts. A single off Payne took him to a well-deserved half-century, his side's difficulties underlined by the 124 balls it took him to get there. But those travails returned when Hildreth fell to Goodman, his return of 64 a highlight for Somerset on another difficult day. Van Buren sank Somerset further into the mire, Delanger out LBW for a duck. Davy followed, Higgins with his fourth, and Somerset all out for 149. Gloucestershire set 152 to win. Hildreth knock gave Somerset something to cling on to. He helped his side set a potentially tricky target. That's if the visitors were to experience the same difficulties as their hosts did. Overton did his best to give his side hope. Captain Chris Dent was uprooted early, bowled for nine. But Bracey and Brathwaite avoided further damage, and Gloucestershire played their way to the close at 28 for one needing just 125 for what was looking increasingly likely to be an away win.